There is no greater threat to our collective future than climate change. As we have seen all too clearly by the devastating floods in Western and Central Europe and the fires in Greece, Russia or North Macedonia. It demands from all of us the same urgency that we have witnessed over the last 18 months since the emergence of COVID pandemic. Today at Coca-Cola HBC we are making an important commitment to reduce emissions to net zero across the whole of our value chain by 2040. But committing is not enough. We also need to know how to get there. This is why we have developed an action-based robust plan. Committing to net zero by 40 means that we will reduce our emissions to an absolute minimum across the whole of our business. 90% of our emissions come from scope 3, which are emissions resulting from third-party actions in our supply chain. But we see them within our responsibility. So we know we must and will broaden our existing partnership approach with suppliers. That's one of our big priorities. In our direct operations, we will decarbonize further by switching everywhere to 100% renewable electricity and low carbon energy sources through continuous improvements and innovations in energy efficiency. This includes, for example, supplying our customers with more energy efficient coolers. Another action to deliver net zero by 40 is focused on packaging. Through packaging redesign, packageless and refillable solutions, we will change the carbon footprint of our portfolio along with the fleet that we use to distribute it. Our primary goal, and of course our biggest challenge, is to transform our mindset, our approach to business, our production processes, so that we reduce our emissions as close as we possibly can to zero. But at this point, we know from everyday life that we can't just erase all emissions like that, but we can keep them in balance. So wherever we can't eliminate our emissions completely, we'll find other relevant, effective and approved climate protection measures to ensure that we're compensating. And that's going to be a combination of upscaling the sort of things we're doing already, like taking CO2 from the air, like planting trees in the ground or replenishing watersheds and natural habitats, and finding new approaches in partnership with others. But to be absolutely clear, we're focused on the reduction of our emissions to the lowest possible level wherever we can. We're going to be reporting transparently and openly on our progress and engaging with all of our stakeholders so that we get the challenge, the ideas and the support that we need in order to deliver on the commitment. Getting to net zero by 40 is a mission and goal that we will consider in every business decision we make. It all starts with developing an even more sustainable mindset. This is why we have introduced CO2 reduction targets as one of the elements of our long-term management incentive plans. And we recognize the need to invest around 250 million euros by 2025 in initiatives that will have a direct impact on our goal. And we will do much more besides. It will be the destination of a journey that we have already started. And it is fully aligned with our philosophy to support the socio-economic development of our communities and to make a more positive environmental impact. Both are integral to our future growth. As one of the world's most sustainable beverage companies, it is entirely appropriate that we are taking this step and committing to net zero by 40. We are doing so because we know that we are all in this together.